Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we'll be trying to see how to deploy our wonderful apps with Streamlit sharing. So Streamlit has made it very easy to be able to deploy your app and then to share it. So let's see how to do that. So the first thing is to build your app, right? So we have already built our app. Then you need your requirements.txt file, right? That is a first step. So you can use any format. You can use PPMV, pip freeze, or you can use pip rec to help you with that. That is the first step. The next step is to put your app on GitHub, right? So you, you have to put your app to GitHub. So you have to have a GitHub account. Then the third one is to have an account on streamlit.io sharing, right? So you can get, you can sign up here. It's a very simple stuff. So just go to streamlit.io slash sharing underscore sign up, then get an invite, right? That is all that you need. So you're just going to put in your details, your name, your last name, and then the email that's your GitHub is using, right? So the email that you use to sign up for your GitHub, very, very important. That is also, let's see the app you're trying to deploy. So this is a simple app, which is a programming language trend app. So I can just put in anything here. So let's see Python, comparing Python and then JavaScript. So if I run it like that, you're going to see a very nice plot here, right? Just like Google Trends. So this is the trend over the years, right? Very, very nice. You can also check on the area chart. You can see that this is the area chart. So let's add another language like Go very popular language for DevOps, right, for deployment. <laughs> and so that you can also have this nice plot here. Then finally, we can also do a simple pie chart of all the languages, right, very nice. And then we can do some other stuff, right, the trend pair language over time using these nice features all out of Streamlit. Perfect. So let's see how to deploy this app on Streamlit using Streamlit sharing. So the first step, we have built our app, we have our requirement.txt file. So let's get our requirement.txt file. So this is the location of my app, right? So to get it, just go with pip rec, right? Then you just point it to the location. So it's going to be here. This is a, this is a location. Let's get out of this place so I can see it all. So it's going to be pip rec, right? Then I'll just point it to my location. So there's the app itself. Then it's going to create a requirement.txt file for us, right? Very, 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 very nice. So this is a simple package. So in case you don't have, you can just go with pip install pip s right? Very nice. So after that, I'm just going to push it to GitHub, which I've already done here. So this is the app. So the app is already on GitHub. That is all that I need. Perfect. So let's create an account on sharing. Then after that, you're going to be sent an invitation. Then you can just come back to this place, right? So you click on the invitation, then go to share.streamlet.io. Then I just click on, this is empty, there's nothing here. So I click on the new app. Then it's going to automatically detect my GitHub, right? In a repo, then I'm going to select the particular repo I want. So I'm using this one. So I click on jQuery Streamlit Trend App. Perfect. Then the branch is the main branch. And then this is the name of the file, right? So this is the name of the file, right? Very nice. So let's make sure that it is correct. Then if I run it, Going to deploy it's taking some time so if everything works you see the balloon coming right very very cool and very nice voila you could see the balloon came right i don't know whether you could see the balloon <laughs> that means that's already been deployed right very very nice so it's running it's going to run voila our app is already deployed so that is how to deploy it in a very very simple way so all you need is just to add it right very nice and everything is working as expected you can click on it you can get the description of it wow right out of the box very very cool right so cool and so nice so i can just come back here to the trends and i'll see everything just within a second wow very very nice cool wow pre <laughs> this is so awesome all right so i can just select the language so let's select python since we are working on python then you can just see it right you can see the trend everything is working as expected there's no errors if there's an error, you can just update it like that, right? In case you want to make some changes, you just make some changes, you put it to GitHub, then you see the changes deployed. Very, very nice. So that is the basic way of working with Streamlit sharing. So the first step, you build your app, then you have your comment.txt file. The next step, you put it on GitHub, right? Which we already done here. So you can just put any app that you have on GitHub. That is having the comment.txt file, and then it's a easy Streamlit app. Then the third one is just go to you the sharing, then you able to click on add, right? That, that is the basic understanding. So thank you for watching this tutorial. So one nice thing is that after doing this, you can just go back to your GitHub location 
and then add this simple feature here right so this simple stuff open in streamlit so this is done by this so this is the code for that here just put it here so streamlit then in location to your app right very very nice then you click on it then it's going to open for you so let's modify it and then update it and you see the changes right so i'm just going to make some changes here so i just go back to this same place right so in case i want to make it easy for me to be able to click on it to get it right to click on this one and it open so i just go back to the same place copy this one here that is all that we need right, so copy this so apologies for that so i just paste it here so i'm just going to paste it here right so i'll paste it here right perfect and then the name of my app so the name of the app right perfect that, that's all right so let's make some changes so i'm going to make a simple slight changes in my app itself is going to be here so this app so let's add something simple so that you can know that we have made a simple change right so i'll add inside here programming languages train streamlit app so stream let up right perfect so that you see that there's a change there and i'll go back to my report my github location and push it right right so if i come back here i made some changes so I just go with commit i have to add it first these are all basic stuff so i'm adding the with me the modification and then the app itself then Okay, these are basic stuff. Commit dash m. I'll put in whatever thing to say updates, right? So, something like that. Then git push. That is all. So it's going to make these changes and I'm going to see the changes being reflected in our app, which has already been deployed here, right? Perfect. It's going to be detected here. It's going to reflect here, right? Very nice. Perfect. So it has already been pushed there. If I go back and I check it automatically so now you can see the change right just within a second right very very cool right and then if i go back to this place too if i run around it again the changes has, has been made so i can click on this then it's going to open for us right so if i click on this it's going to open the app for us so that's another way you can also work with this so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe see you another time